Alrighty, here we are. We're going to show you how to, of course, fill up a, uh, a clearomizer, um, a bottom coil clearomizer. That's pretty much everything that we do offer here on the site in f as far as the clearomizers go. So if you're brand new to this, you want to know how to put that liquid properly into the clearomizer, I'm here to show you right now right here. Here we have a clear miser and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it upside down and I am going to unscrew the bottom piece counterclockwise. As I pull that out that is going to reveal the heating element. This is your heating element folks. Every time you fill the liquid up every single time make sure that your heating element is tight. You turn it cl clockwise. What can happen is it can loosen up just a little bit. As it loosens up just a little bit that can cause leaking and it can also cause poor voltage, uh, poor vapor output. So always make sure that that's tight. It's very easy to replace your heating element. I'm going to unscrew it counterclockwise right now. I'm going to take it out and you just take this old one, put in a new one, and you're going to turn it in clockwise. Very, very easy to do. As far as filling up the liquid itself, what you want to do is you're going to want to fill up around the metal tube that's within the middle. And I'm going to show you that very quickly. As you can see within there, there is a metal tube that's in the uh, center point there. We don't want to put the liquid in there. We want to put it around. And we also don't want the liquid to go above that metal tube. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a bottle here, unscrew it. And what I like to do is I kind of ride it on the side there. So here I'm going to ride it on the side. I'm going to bring it all the way up right to where that metal tube is. I then take the uh, bottom plate here, screw it back on, and we're done. Now I turn it upside down uh, or right, right back up there. One final thing I do want to mention, if you have a brand new heating element, you want to prime this. Um, a lot of people aren't aware of this and they just put that liquid in there. It's a brand new heating element. They put it on the e-seg and they start, um, they start using it. That can cause some issues. What happens is you want to always think of your heating element kind of like a car engine and think of this e-liquid as oil for your car. Um, if you're running it without any oil there, you can damage your engine very, very quickly. It works the very same with these here. So priming is not difficult to do, and you only have to do it when it's a brand new heating element, when you put a brand new heating element in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy to do. You put the liquid in there. Now I'm just going to do two inhales. Okay, I did three. And uh, all I'm doing is I am processing that liquid right on in there. The last step really to do is put it onto your uh, battery there and do short little bursts, short little puffs as you depress the button. Once you taste that flavoring, then go for it. Everything's going to be fine and dandy. So it's just that simple. These clear misers work very, very well. If you're concerned about leaking, uh, these are premium well-made. You don't have leaking issues. The only way that you're going to get a leaking issue is uh, one, you can get very, very small leakage if you don't use the system for quite a while. So it's been a few days. You're going to get a little bit because those air holes have to be there to channel that air in there for you. So you can get a little bit of leakage that way. Your only other way that you're going to get leakage off of one of these is if that coil does go bad on you. Um, the heating elements, how you know you need to replace a heating element on one of these is one of three ways. Uh, the wicking actually kind of burns out. It wears out, and that's going to cause a, a burnt, harsh taste in the back of your throat. You're going to need a new heating element, a new coil there. You find that in a replacement section. Second way is it just won't convert the vapor into liquid. Uh, and the liquid into vapor and that's how you can get that leakage that we're talking about there too so if you do have a little bit of a uh, liquid that's coming up then it's probably a good chance that that heating element has gone out the third and last way is it just wears out so if it was working so well for you one of these clear misers and it's if you're a real heavy user, it could be as less as two weeks. We do also see a lot of uh, user uh, error where they'll accidentally have it go off in their pocket, things of that nature, and the uh, heating element prematurely exhausts itself because of that, so that can cause it. Um, we do, of course, alternatively have some people who are very light users, and a heating element can last them several, several weeks, so that's kind of nice there, too. Uh, the last thing to really mention about leaking with this, if you do notice that where you're getting a little bit of leakage, before you toss out that old... Um, that old heating element, what I just showed you a little bit before there, make sure that that heating element is tight clockwise. And that's the final uh, thing that I do want to mention about these systems too. You want everything snug, 
but you don't want it real tight like a Gorilla Grip. You can damage your system, so don't ever really, really tighten them too hard. You can damage the system and you can cause it not to work properly anymore. But right now, that just showed you very quickly how to fill up a clearmizer.